Welcome back everyone. I am Shopta Purni from Biolive. Hope all of you are doing very well. So today we are going to learn about isometric and allometric scaling in animal physiology. So what do you mean by isometric or geometric scaling? It is the most simplest form of scaling which is mathematically straightforward or formula based and hence it is predictable. Here you can see different dimensions of any object like height, white or depth remain proportional or changes geometrically as the change in overall body size or object size okay so all the dimensions of any object actually changes geometrically to its overall body size okay so let's get it clear through an example here i have drawn four different sized cubes a b c and d whose linear dimension that means the length of any side of the cube changes from 1 2 3 then 4 unit okay according to that their surface area that is 6 a square also increases from 6 to 24 then 54 then 96 and volume that is a cube also increases from 1 to 8 to 27 to 64 okay so here you can see all the dimensions like linear dimension or surface area or volume of the cube changes proportionally or changes geometrically uh, according to its change in body size. Okay. So, this is like here you can see the surface area changes in square form whereas volume changes in cube form uh, relative to its linear dimension which is known as square cube rule. Okay. So, quite predictable but in nature this kind of isometric scaling is not frequently found it is very rare why because this kind of isometric scaling does not prefer does not uh, does not meet the requirement of your functional anatomy okay how let's see through an example see i have drawn here two spherical animals okay this is actually one animal the animal a1 this this spherical animal has uh, absorbed different nutrients and increased its size to a2 size okay this size so in a1 its size was its radius was one unit and in a2 condition its radius increases up to two unit according to that the surface area increases from 4 pi to 16 pi that is four times greater and volume increases from 4 by 3 pi to 4 by 3 pi into 8 that is eight time greater so here in this increased body size condition you can see that volume has increased eight times but surface area has increased only four times okay so this surface area is not rising as first as the volume to keep the heightened requirement of the increased volume which leads to functional disability what does this mean that means the overall size has increased the overall volume has increased eight times so to meet the required uh, amount of nutrition of this increased size you need to increase the surface area accordingly but here you can see the surface area has only increased four times as per the isometric scaling so this much surface area increasement is not enough to meet the requirement nutritional requirement of this much heightened volume of uh, increase in this animal okay and this leads to functional disability so to maintain the functional ability or functional anatomy and physiology of any organism we need allometric scaling so what is allometric scaling it is a systematic non-geometric change in broad body proportion with changing body size okay to retain the functional anatomy and physiology of any organism it in its environment so let's take an example we know that the human brain size the proportion of human brain size in fetus or in fetal condition is quite larger than in adult condition okay in fetus we have a larger brain than in adult condition so that means our brain size or head size has not increased isometrically uh, according to our 
uh, changes in overall body size rather it has changed it has increased allometrically why because let's see let's say if our brain has increased isometrically so in our adult condition our uh, head length or our brain length will be so much that we will not be able to carry our that much uh, volume of brain and we cannot uh, be able to walk on land okay so for that reason to maintain our functional ability of walking and other uh, other works uh, our brain size has not increased so much like in our fetal condition okay so it has shown uh, allometric increment similarly the similar condition can be seen in zebra fish eye and head length okay so allometric scaling helps us to maintain our functional ability in real environment so this is all about today's video i hope this video will be useful for you if you find this video useful don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and to uh, view more such videos do subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and happy learning